If a variable is normally distributed, then it has a mean and a standard deviation, and its probability distribution looks like this. If a specific x value is chosen, let's call it x0, then, the, then there's a relationship between that x, that x value and the area in the probability distribution to the left of that x value. If the chosen value gets smaller, then the area gets smaller. If the chosen value gets larger, then the area gets larger. We're very interested in this relationship because it's related to a probability equation. If a variable, if, if a value from the population is chosen at random, the probability that that value will be less than a particular chosen value is going to be equal to the area to the left of that value in the probability distribution. So there are two values that are important here. One is the chosen value, x0, and the other one is the area, which is the probability that a randomly chosen item from the distribution is less than that particular x value. If the x value is known, the x0 value is known, and we want to find the a value, that's called probability problem. On the other hand, if the area is known, and we're looking to find that x value, then that's called an inverse problem. There are many apps available for solving the probability problem and the inverse problem. One that we will choose in our course is R. R is readily available online. Just do a, a internet search for R online compilers and there'll be a bunch of them. Here's one that I picked uh, for our discussion today. Often the R compiler will have a sample script in there, so just take that and take it out. So here's a sample problem. The distribution of all Indian River County grapefruit weights is known to be normally distributed with a mean of 324 grams and a standard deviation of 34 grams. What's the probability of randomly selected an Indian River grapefruit that has a weight less than 350 grams? Okay, so let's look at the picture for a minute. We know that 324 grams is right here in the middle. So we're 350 grams, we're up here somewhere. So we want to find this particular area when this value is 350. That's easily done in R with the P norm function. P stands for probability, and that we're looking at a normal distribution. So P norm of 324 is the mean of this distribution, and 44 is the standard deviation of the distribution, so R can quickly do that calculation for us. So once we ran, ran this, this little script and asked for the preview, then it gave us the result over here saying that the probability is about 72%. So let's look at a second problem. What weight are 80% of the grapefruit less than? In other words, we're essentially looking for the uh, 80th percentile. R has a function called QNorm that does that job. Q stands for quantile, and that's what you're looking for in this case, isn't it? It's looking for the 80th uh, percentile, or the 80th quantile. So we tell R that we're looking for the 80th percentile, 0.80, in a normal distribution with a mean of 324 and a standard deviation of 44. Now if we run that script, it does both of those calculations for us. The first probability was 72, and this value, 361 uh, grams, a little bit more than that, is the 80th percentile. 